Yes, we are going live now. Right. This is happening. I can't hear myself, by the way. But no, no, you're not. You're not supposed to hear yourself. But you see that green thing right there? That means that they can hear you. So, All right. so you guys, uh, welcome to this this edition of Hey Rob. If you notice any technical difficulties whatsoever, please don't hesitate to let us know. Skype message me. Do the 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 freaking uh, Patreon message. Uh, the what do you call that thing? The freaking comments comments just let me know if there's any technical issues so i don't waste a half hour blowing up the mic or you not hearing me so anyways jordan and i have been battling this out for quite some time now actually we've been we've been talking about this for about a month now <laughs> yeah <laughs> when we argue we keep that shit going. That's that's kind of that's kind of why we wanted to do a, a a podcast like this. Where, well, there's a lot there's a lot of reasons. This is one of them. By the way, we have like probably 200 arguments floating around that we just always just go back to. Oh yeah. So this one's been in the works forever, and he's an idiot. So you know it's probably hard to sway. No, no, no. You're you're you sound insane because you're an idiot. First of all. And the the fans will prove it. The fans I'm will prove it. Zero. That's why we got we got some right here lined up on Skype, ready ready to do this. Okay. So so tell them what the beef is, what the real argument's oh about. Oh my gosh. So just so you know, I have my Forrest Gump shirt. Oh my gosh. I got pay <laughs> from Bubba Gump Shrimp. Um, Jordan believes that Forrest Gump is overrated. It is. It's just always in every top ten list. You go to Rotten <sighs> Tomatoes. I think it's like four. Four out of all the movies. It's four. It's a good movie. It's not terrible. It's a good like farce, you know, like um what's that what's that movie? Like the mo- scary movies, you know, like the farce. Oh history. my god, dude. Like, this is what this but it's is. not number four. It's a hell of <sighs> number, I'm number gonna four. I'm gonna save this because we talked about how we were gonna do this beforehand. The I'm not gonna call it blasphemy. I'm not. I'm not. So what we decided to do is we're gonna take turns. And because the discussion opened further from what's overrated in his eyes and whatnot too let's talk about what we believe is the most overrated movie and movies of all time so i think we both agreed before that we felt godfather was kind of overrated it's not saying it's not good not saying it's it's really great you know it's got it's got some great acting and some great scenes mm-hmm. uh, i but i prefer other gangster movies to it you know okay so Basically, I think before I let you go. So I think I think that uh, Forrest Gump's overrated, uh, way overrated. I don't know if it's number one, but I think it's overrated. It's his favorite, just kn- knuckle cases, fucking number one uh, favorite movie of all time, and that's stupid of him to think that. But he thinks Star Wars is overrated. Fuck yeah! And we're not talking Star sucks. Wars total in the universe. Like I, we're talking four, five, and six. The new one, it was fun. You know, but the it's new not, one was the the fourth one. No, the same new one's movie. Like the seventh. Swap movie. out the girl to fit in with the PC era that we live in. For Luke Skywalker, it's yeah, the same it, movie. It, it was a ripoff of the of a New Hope. Okay, but that, so, so that's we're, his but, argument. But we're gonna get there in a minute. So let's talk real quick. Let's break this down for a second, just so we know what makes an overrated movie. Hype. Um. You kind of just talking about like you were saying the last time, like Gone with the Wind. Well, it's number one, or it should be there. It's got a little bit of overation because of of when it came out, the audience, the core demographic, all that stuff, you know. And it doesn't always necessarily mean it's it's great, um, you know, and great to everybody, and especially in like new audiences and stuff like that. I don't know. It could mean a lot of different factors. I think overrated. Obviously, it's exactly that. It's overrated. It, it's too much. It's it's worship too much than what it actually really is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I and I and I totally agree with that. And that's kind of why, uh, you know, we we look at movies as as being overrated because it's not 
it's not to say that they're necessarily bad movies or, or anything like that, but what we are saying is that these movies have a large fan base that, in our opinion, are humble, not so humble, very loud opinions. It, it, it's not warranted, I think, is, is what we're trying to say. It's like uh, there's so many people either A, have tons of millions of people who love this thing that we think's not that great or it has the type of fandom that is really like this is the best movie ever when it's like it's not that good you know what i mean so i think both of those would qualify it as an overrated movie you know so let me let me tell you what i thought about today so we've i always always recreal about this movie i don't think it's horrible i just like busting his balls but i for real for real took it apart today oh man i kind of i think of it like it's somebody bringing me a car let's say i'm a good mechanic like i think this one thing's wrong but you want to take a quick look i open the i get up under the hood i put the car up and i just see tons of problems and i pick this apart and this movie is so overrated and it comes down to our infatuation with the 50s and 60s era and I made a couple notes on this, but basically, here we go. Hold on. What you so can, here we what, go. What is what is something uh, you could take from a movie? So so wait before I let you go on your spiel. I have agreed. I will remain silent. <laughs> I will remain silent. I will not jump out of my chair. I won't call you names. Nothing. I'm gonna sit here, and I'm gonna listen to your fucking soliloquy. All right. Go ahead. So, what what makes something great? You know, usually a long lasting legacy, um, something that can carry on forward and past the impact of the movie itself, right? Mm -hmm. um, all this movie has to show for itself, if you really think about it, is some folksy catchphrases and a really disgusting seafood restaurant chain. You know, there's no legacy, there's no cult culture. There's no dressing up to be Forrest Gump or Janite or anybody from that movie for Halloween. There's no special day for Forrest Gump. Um, they don't have May the 5th be with you. They don't have anything um, to do this. Yes, yet it's always on the top 10 list. Like you're saying, it's like it's usually on the Rotten Tomatoes, like number four. It's not even the best Tom Hanks movie. Like Saving Private Ryan's a way better film than this movie. So to me, this movie is just an elaborate excuse for a nostalgic trip back to the whitewashed good old days. It teaches you if you want to succeed in America, you don't need half a brain. All it takes is to blindly follow whatever other people tell you to do. And if you watch the movie, anytime anybody tells Forrest Gump what to do, he just says, okay, and does it blindly without thinking about it for himself. And that's kind of the message. Keep your head down, never get out of line, and it'll be okay. Your cheating, misleading love of your life will constantly hurt you and may even hide a son from you till she's ready, a.k.a. out of options for other self-respecting men, and you finally get that moment you've been waiting for all your hard-working life. That is until she tells you she, she's dying from full-blown AIDS. I'm HIV positive that this is the only reason this movie's ranked so high is that America can't get over itself when it comes to our golden era, the 50s and 60s. Let's talk about the main character here, okay? Forrest Gump, huh? for better words, he's a retard, right? He's born with scoliosis and he had to wear big leg braces as a child. No one will talk to him except this little girl and fucking Elvis, for some reason, who steals his amazing dance skills and leg braces. Okay, sure. And then immediately after that, well, Forrest is somehow either he gets bit by a radioactive bug or discovers his parents are like from an alien race because right after that he outruns a fucking truck like did he get some kind of superpowers breaks out of his braces and and then can become a football college football um, track star he's also a medal of honor winning war hero an international world famous ping pong player he started a running cult which is equivalent of going viral back then where he wiped his face with the muddy shirt and out came the Walmart signal that everybody uses with a happy face. Uh, that's crazy to me. And 
Then he started a world famous multi million dollar seafood company, all while never being recognized on that damn bench handing out motherfucking chocolates. Get the fuck out of it. How was he never recognized? He's able to tell his bullshit story. And everyone's like, what? You're some. Of course, everybody. He's obviously the most famous person alive doing all this crazy shit. And I just got to say, P.S. Lieutenant Dan makes a lighthearted joke about if you become a captain of a fisherman of a fishing boat, um, I'll become a fucking astronaut. And guess what? At the very end of the movie, he's a fucking astronaut, a, a Vietnam vet who smoked and drank all through the war, came out with no legs. All he did was drugs. He's somehow an astronaut. Stupid, stupid fucking movie. The only reason that we like it is we like the culture. It's why you watch movies like Blow. It's it's where everything lies in that in those those years of going back and having that nostalgia. That's the only reason that this movie is half as popular. I saw so fucking long ago. Keep going. That's it. It's it's not. If you really look at the movie and you really are honest, it's not that it's a good movie. It's just a history lesson of shit that really actually didn't happen, mixed in with some real shit in there. So that's that's your that's your pop culture movie. It's a little. It's overrated, man. I don't see it that at that great of uh, the the put the level you're putting on it. Jordan, um, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just letting a couple extra fans know, get, getting some people on. So if you wonder what I'm doing, it's not that I, ha- that I haven't necessarily fully been listening. It's just that you, you make no sense. Um, so here's, here's what I'm gonna say to all of that. Everything you just said. Um, I think of, I think of two things. Uh, for one. Um, I believe that there is there there. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna take off my fucking glasses for this one. Okay, there's the, I, I wasn't gonna do this, but we're going biblical. Okay, I was listening. All right, I'm going biblical. There there is a scripture in the Bible that says that he who takes to plow and looks back is not worthy. Now what that means, okay, is that once you have the knowledge and the truth and you know how to live properly and you go back on what you already know, then then you're it's worse, it's worse than if you were ignorant, okay? So I think of that because it's like it's like say if you didn't know stealing was wrong and you you stole, then it's not that bad. If you know in your heart that stealing hurts people and you steal, that's bad. Okay, so this applies to you because you haven't taken to plow. You are ignorant, and I question your entire ability. Your 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 fucking inept when it comes to perceiving and just gathering information in your fucking brain it's not that you're an asshole it's not that you're blasphemous it's not that you you it it, you don't get it because you do not have the mental fortitude and wherewithal to absorb the information and process it and formulate a proper opinion and then share that opinion with me no 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 sir you are lacking something in there. There's some fucking screws loose in there. And I can't get mad at you for what you're saying. No, I am not going to get mad at you. I'm not going to say that you're a blasphemous piece of shit. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say fuck you and go fuck yourself, okay? I'm not going to say that to you. I'm not going to say that everything I heard was complete bullshit from your part how's it bullshit i'm not gonna say that i'm gonna say that you just don't get it because you don't you don't have the ability to get it i right? don't have the ability to get a okay parody um, film. okay so first of all look this 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 girl says right here i want robert's beanie this is an escape to fate beanie this is my personal collection i'm letting you know right now 
that if you retweet the my last tweet, if you retweet that, everyone who does, I'm gonna pick one of you guys to own this beanie. So go do that right now while you while you watch this or come back to it, okay? But go retweet that. All right, just real quick, if you not even like if this wasn't about if it was Forrest Gump set to a different era than the 50s, 60s, do you think it'd be half as popular? My That's God. the reason it's so liked. I, dude, I, I had this up with a couple people. I even Eddie agreed with me. He's like, dude, you're right. Really? That movie is so you Yuka because like, so he's liked. a fucking tart, too. It's fucking real, dude. Oh, my God. You're you using, of all people should fucking you're empathize with back him. of a golden era. What I just told you is that you're a retard. You should feel like Tom Hanks is doing a perfect portrayal of you. <laughs> No. Forrest Gump represents you. No, he doesn't. How is it that I could sit here and hurl all these insults at you, but you still come around? <laughs> the same way Forrest Gump still loved Jenny. This movie is about love and loyalty and destiny. This movie is about the ability to have like just random occurrences appear in your life and just running with it, man. Yeah, and but just plot holes in all those fucking occurrences. Oh my gosh! I'm Let me gonna, ask you: Can I'm you outrun a car? You. Can a human outrun a car? That's what made him so special. Oh, that he was fucking a superhero. Bo Jackson did. I didn't did. see Marvel. Bo Jackson I didn't see, did in the no, 90s. There's a there's a he actual did not documentary outrun a car. about it's it. He jumped over one. That's just not the same fucking thing. Look, I didn't see it Marvel the at the bottom of this, trucks and I never, fast. I sure shit didn't see Stan Lee hiding out in this my movie. My turn. Doing my, I'm going here. right now. This is my turn, and you shut your fucking yapper. Okay, first of all, before I get into what my overrated one is, which you all guys already know, I'm going to tell you what you just said is so, uh, bullshit. I'm going to break down Forrest Gump to you. This man is about love, okay? When his girl abandoned him, First of all, he met his girl and he said, I love this girl. Stuck with her. Done. I don't care. I'm with you to the end. That's love. You think when Jesus was on the cross, he's like, you know what? You guys ain't worth this. Ah, I'm out. No. And what is Jesus known as? That, that is known as love. That That is ultimate like symbol of love right there. And that's why millions and hundreds of millions of people across the globe gravitate towards the story of Jesus Christ. Because that is the ultimate symbol of love. To you, it, love is not when things are going well. Love is called upon when it is going bad. When it's going good, it just means I like you. It means it's cool. It's fun. It's easy to like things. To love something, you have to suffer. You actually have to feel pain and endure that, and then come out the other side and remain loyal. All the shit that we gone through. That's why we're best friends. Because we, we've been through shit. I've put you through shit, you know? And you stick it out. That's what. That's why when you get married, it's a symbol of like, I'm not going to give up on you no matter how hard it gets. Otherwise, it, you'd be dating. Marriage is that ultimate. And Forrest Gump represents the simplicity, how we overthink things, how we challenge, like, by our own intelligence, we actually hurt ourselves. And so Forrest Gump taught us just just follow the game plan and you'll win. And what is that game plan? Love. When you meet your best friend, you ride it out to the death with that homie and you keep the promises you made with him. When you meet your girl, you ride to the death with her. Even if she gets AIDS, you stick with her. You still love her. And what happens when you get like, you get your job, you do your fucking best at it. When he got, he went to college to play football, number 44, by the way, was his jersey. He, the coach said, run. So he fucking ran. That's what he did, okay? And so when you when, when you get all that stuff, he puts it in the simplest form possible. He trusted his mother. And it kind of looks at everything as like almost like no emotion, right? Because he's slow, so he doesn't show any emotion. But finally at the end, when he breaks down and he's at Jenny's grave, you realize, man, this man really did love. He's not just an idiot. He actually did love, but he showed it in the best way possible with action he didn't fucking just talk about it he did it he may not be a smart man but he knows what love is all the other stuff right it's just cool it's just cool the soundtrack of the 60s the peace and love and the idea that you know yes yeah, it's just the nostalgia but that's just to dress it up can this evil villain be <coughs> like 
Does he have to wear paint? No, it just makes it cool. It just, it's just something to add to the gimmick, you know? It's charming in that way. And I don't know what so you're you saying. The ultimate, the, the message is that just be loyal and things will work out, which it didn't work out at all. He could have had, for all the shit that went right in his life, he could have had a choice of a lot of women, had a lot of better life. He didn't have to not have self-respect and get like treated like garbage his whole entire life. So there's a lot of things that aren't good about that that you're saying, but you're missing the whole fucking movie. You have the problem because it's he wiped, a whole movie. He wiped bullshit. his face on a shirt and it happened to leave smudges a certain way. Oh, certain. And way. all of a I, sudden, I, okay. because of that, you you that, throw out the whole premise. That of the made whole me snap movie. out. No, no, no. I was watching it like a trance. Like, I guess it could really. Happen. I guess it could happen. I guess. It, what the fuck? No. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. This so, done, so, so done. You, let's rewind. Your problem okay, is the I. Your problem. Your problem is stupid. Stupid. Are you kidding? So your no problem. No one talks to this boy except Elvis, is and that, then he outruns a car. The point and is his that braces is, fall off. The point is also that certain things and come into your, your life argument, and you can't explain no, them. You can't it's explain just like it happenstance, it's not, dude. That's why it starts with a fucking feather. You watch Spider-Man, and you get it. Oh, shit. He's bit by a spider. Therefore, he's oh, climb Oh, that's believable. Walls. It's not that's believable. That's believable. No, no, no. But it, you, at least you give me something. At least you give me something. Plumber came in today. The motherfucker, his pinky's like this, okay? A plumber. He came fix our, my fucking toilet. And he's like, I'm like, what's up with your pinky? And he's like. Why did you say that? <laughs> he, said, he said. He said. I got bit by... He was actually from Australia. I got bit by a brown recluse, mate, and I I, I almost died. That's what the fuck happens, right? You, you lose function. You almost die when you get bit by a spider. You don't gain superpowers, but okay. you're cool with that? Let's do this. Star Wars fucking sucks. Worst movie ever. Um, Four is horrible. The five is the worst bullshit I've ever seen. It ends with a to be continued. It doesn't even have an ending. And you're cool with that. It doesn't even have an ending. Every good Doesn't story Doesn't even have an ending. Continues. No. Oh, Every good story Forrest continues. Gump. Forrest Gump actually lets you Because have his whole life's over. His fucking wife's dead. Exactly. He lives happily ever after despite his... losing his wife. No. You don't know that. It doesn't continue. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's over. It ended right there. The story's over. But this was a Stupid. to be continued. To be continued. Fuck you, okay? Jar Jar Binks was a stupid fucking character. Agreed. Dumbass character. Worst character so in the Star Wars So that's universe. why we loved him, because he was so stupid, we loved him. It was like, that's what they were going for. They said, let's make a dumbass character that's just funny. Kind of like Gremlins, you know? She's like, meh, like, stupid. So Jar Jar's kind of cool. Other than that, Star Wars fucking So this sucks. fucking idiot's favorite sucks. guy is, the favorite character Horrible. is Jar Jar Binks. That just goes to show you what kind of fan he is. Plot not. The what? new one, the episode seven, that's the same fucking movie Agreed. as episode four. Agreed. Remember? You want to talk about milky nostalgia? Remember? Agreed. I'm agreeing with Remember? that. Remember? South Park did a whole that's season not, that's not based a, on that. Is that George Lucas? <laughs> that based on it's that. It's J.J. Amberries. Memberries. You know? That's South Park called did a whole season about him. Oh, that's that's called. Is Mayweather really fighting right now? No, he's cashing in. Okay, that's called bullshit. It's called paying the tax. That's man. called bullshit. It's called right? paying the tax, man. Um, uh, all you guys got this is okay. Here's here's the beautiful thing. Last week we argued about Lion King, just children's movie. So there, for me, you are underrating it. It's a great movie. It's that uh, transcends age. Okay, maybe it's not the best. Fine, I'll concede. It's still a good movie. I'll concede. I like the movie, but it it transcends ages. And people can like it. I liked it more now than I did as a child. Okay? Star Wars, you have to be a child to watch that to enjoy it. If you don't, Tell it's me sucked. why it's, it's overrated. Give me a monologue on why it's stupid. overrated. The acting is horrible. The main character is Luke Skywalker. He's horrible. I didn't want to go there. The movie's racist. What? The, <laughs> the movie's racist. You got the black guy that betrays him. You We're not talking about that one. Talking about four, five, okay, three. I mean, All four, of them, five, the whole six. franchise. The whole franchise. No. The a black guy hope, betrays him. The other Trooper. black guy betrays the stormtroopers, and then the other black guy can't even show his face. To take off the mask. It's a white guy. <laughs> you kidding me? He's George talking Lucas about is a racist. James Earl Jones being the voice of Darth Vader. Anyway, that's I'm obviously I'm joking. <laughs> Coincidence though, but. 
It's it's just like the, the episode four is the worst acting I've ever seen. I don't even know what those little those, those tiny guys that were hooked. They didn't even have a point in the That's movie. That's in Return of the Jedi. Those are Ewoks. Whatever it is, it was horrible. No, it was in the it was in episode four. They're they're wearing cloaks, not the little bear things. What are you talking about? Those, I'm talking about those things that wore cloaks. They took the they took the silver legged robot. Oh, and sand they people took it apart. <laughs> First of all, and you want to talk about communicating? Oh my god! And things that are not believable. A thing, a trash can whistles at a fucking. Uh, I'm not even gonna go there with the with the robot. Okay, it's it's just it it's just. It's all dumb. It's it's too ridiculous. He happen. You want to talk about Forrest Gump's about destiny. He happens to land on some mysterious planet who happens to have the chosen one. Why does the fucking green thing speak backwards? That's stupid. No point of that <laughs> shit. And he has to go to some swamp to do it. And it's like all oh, the force. In- incredible acting. Let's give him a fucking Emmy. Oh, fucking Oscar right there. Oh, force. Science fiction, man. We are we are not uh, evil. Like it's, that's so stupid. It's so dumb. If you're a child, I could see if it's like a cartoon and you put it on. It's whatever. But other than that, it's not good. It's dumb. Well, it's a, a, okay. The characters were kind of cool because they had cool costumes. It's cute. It's a cute movie. But for there to be, we're talking about overrated. For there to be theme parks. For there to be fucking legions of people get tattoos. There's conventions for this shit. They make 15 different billion movies. They're, why? It's horrible. Horrible. Forrest Gump actually had some real substance in heart. Why is there no diehards on Forrest Gump? You're looking at one. Okay, besides that shirt, which I, I didn't one. know existed, and you probably had to find it on eBay. I got one. I got one. Don't don't you worry. Is there any merch set up here? I didn't see any uh, Forrest Gump merch. I'm sorry. I'm wearing one right oh, now. Got, got Where's yours? Fuck you! Where's mine, dude? I can find. I could go in any store anywhere in the fucking world go. and find Star Wars gear. <laughs> Literally anywhere. You pick a store, I'll find no, some Star no, Wars. Nostalgia. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. It's good, good merchandise bullshit. I'm the gonna best I'm gonna phone merchandise a in here the real world. quick. Why do you think it's bit? What they buy it for? Two bill? Three bill? Bro, Tom Hanks. Has more acting talent in his fucking eyebrow than the entire franchise combined of Star Wars. I don't know if you know Wars. what an eyebrow is because you point it to your skull. His eyebrow is <laughs> attached to the skull. It's his fucking eyebrow. There's more talent in that eyebrow that than might the be. entire you, you know, it, cast. It, he didn't need you, a fucking crazy you, you production have, to do shit. You dude. have that except for um, Han Solo. <sighs> There you go. So why is it not overrated? You really think it's that great? I really think I think it's appropriately rated. I'll tell you why. Number two all time? All time? That's what the last list by Inquire or Esquire, whatever the fuck, that rates movies. That's what they rated. Number two best as of all a time. Movie, is it worthy okay, of all? As a movie franchise, yes. As a specific movie, I don't know. You are you are out of your mind. I'm phoning a friend real quick. Yo, what's up, my neighbor? Oh, yo, what's up? We got TJ Bell on the line. TJ, real quick, because I know you're out on tour and, and you're getting close to the home stretch, so we don't have much time. You're going to hit stage and all that. Got to get ready. Jordan tells me there's no <laughs> diehard gumps in the world. Is he wrong? <laughs> there's no diehard gumps in the world. He, he, there, there are... Plenty of diehard gumps in the world. What are Thank you, you. What are you, you being uh, two right here? Yeah. Yeah. A you, gumper. Every night on tour, we take a gump, dude. We watch a force gump every we'll take evening. A gump. Okay. And, this is this is true. And so, so TJ asks you, is Forrest Gump overrated? I don't think so. I think it should be rated greatest movie of all time, but it's not. So, is it overrated? How is it not the greatest movie of all time? That's it. That's, that's a question. very difficult question to answer. I can't. Jordan tried and he couldn't. <laughs> it's what, what TJ, why, I don't want to break okay, your heart why, on the movie, why does man. Jordan hate Forrest I don't Gump. hate it. I look, he's trying to say Star Wars is more overrated. And uh, you know, I had to kind of show him, well, dude, your favorite movie's overrated. And then I took it apart today <laughs> and mm. 
The only reason you guys really like it now, is because Americana. The reason, the reason I wanted to bring... He says it's all based on nostalgia. The entire premise is bullshit. He sticks with this girl who could just go and fuck a bunch of dudes and then and then she just takes them and when she conveniently has AIDS. And it's just like, I told him, that's love, man. You got to put up with some bullshit. Dude, that movie, that movie is just life, dude. But Star Wars f- is, is cool, but it's obviously fake. It's, it's great this is obviously watch, fake. Like, dude, the shit that you feel in Forrest Gump, dude, you tell me you never shed a tear watching that movie, brother. <laughs> I never sh- well, you know the very end's kind of touching. Okay, so I'll give you that. Soul, and, never cried. and TJ, you just just to let them know, you actually like love Star Wars. You have lightsabers. You got a cloak. You got the mask. Like you get stoked on New Year's. We went and watched it when the day came out or around that time. You actually love Star yeah. Wars. Do you dress I up do. as as uh, Forrest Gump for Halloween? Have you ever done that? Do you have any Forrest uh, Gump toys? We're, thinking, we're actually thinking about doing that for the Boom. Next Halloween. It's okay. not as Boom. easy. I'll Boom. give you that because it's a real scenario. So, you know, but I, I do believe that, you know, it, it, Star Wars is cool, but overrated. It's not that great. It's fun. It's cool. It's like it's, it's just like dressing up as a, like when girls dress up as sexy cheerleaders. Yeah, it's cool. Whatever. It's not like it's the best thing ever. Forrest Gump it can arguably be one of the best things ever. No. I don't know. They're 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 both they're both up there in my opinion. I love Star Wars. I Look, love Forrest Gump, but like I said, well, Forrest Gump's gonna have to take it, dude. What the fuck? Yeah. What's yeah. done? What's I, done? I, 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 got, I got I got the the drummer and guitarist here for Dead Rabbits too. How, how do you Let, ask them. Star ask Wars. them. What? Star Wars, Star Wars all day. Star Wars. You know, uh, have you ever seen Forrest Gump? No. You, what? Thank you. You can't even be in this conversation, yeah, dude. Star Wars over everything. Dude, oh, you Star haven't. Wars that's because you haven't you know. seen Forrest Gump. What's done more better? Like what's Jordan. done more good and more has more impact on the world? Star Wars. Well, what about Eric? Have you seen Forrest Gump? Oh my God, I'm with two people who've actually never seen Forrest I'm, Gump. So I'm, I'm jealous. I'm sorry. For I'm even jealous. Them into no. This conversation no, no, no. I'm it. jealous <laughs> because they get to watch it for the first time ever. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, that's true. We should watch it. I mean, we can watch it tonight at my house. Fuck All right, yeah. cool. There you go. All right, TJ, yeah, I'll, let, I'll, let, I'll let you get back to go it, ahead. man. But I just needed you to break that down. So he does love both. Forrest Gump takes it. Cool, man. For, right. Forrest Gump for life, motherfucker. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Boat Gump 2020. Later. Yeah, man. So there there you go. All right. Um, Let's take some calls. Let's take some calls. Let's open up the phone lines. Uh, You know, I think we – yeah, we still got some people on there. So cool. Um. Let's let's head over to the voice of reason. Are you are you ready for this? I hope I hope he is. He had he had to bounce off for a second, but let's see if we can get him on because he was he was waiting all day for this. Oh man, interesting. I believe we have the voice of reason, and this is a tough, tough debate, tough debate. All right, Mister the Voice of Reason, are you on? Uh, can you hear me? We can hear you. There we go. Now people loved your your uh, your your speech last week, and you know they thought it was it was pretty epic and profound. So this week we're talking something as part. Of, this whole podcast is is a pretty heinous crime because you're talking about two great films. Okay, in my opinion, one great film, one greatly received <laughs> film, and one great film, and we're trying to see which one's more overrated. And I'm we're each just spewing the craziest stuff about award-winning things that have legions of fans and all that. So we need someone to please mediate this thing and tell us who's the bigger idiot. I'm inclined to say both of you, but uh, oh. okay. Well, let's uh, let's let's see where Reasonable. where you at. Reasonable. Well, we're comparing Star Wars versus Gump, correct? Overrated, yes. not best. I mean. That's yeah, not, not choice. We'll see which was more overrated. And after that, if you want, after you could tell us if you don't agree with either of these two being the most overrated, what is the most overrated? Hmm. So let's start with that. More overrated. So Robert, you're on the idea that Star Wars is overrated, correct? I believe so because I think it's a shitty film, and I think I'm um, pardon my French, but I think it's a terrible film. Every single one of them. The acting is horrendous. The characters are just unrealistic. 
Um, they don't even wear masks and they're in space. They would die instantly. You can't just land on some mysterious planet, find the chosen one, and learn the force. And then imagine that acting prowess from the white guy with the black voice. I got the force, bro. And then the new Star Wars. You think that? <laughs> you think that Death Star's big? Well, this was even bigger. You know, it's just like, <laughs> come on, man. Top to bottom, movie terrible. Second one almost got me. Didn't have an ending. So for the legions of fans that has a uh, theme park, tattoos, conventions, billions of dollars, <laughs> to me, that's overrated. All right. Well, I'll, I'll start with this. I'm a fan of both. Okay, so I absolutely love the original trilogy. I know them. I didn't think I was that huge of a fan, but every time I talk to people, I seem to be a little more familiar with the technology, I guess. And that's always what sort of captured me about it. Now, speaking objectively, I have been tuning in. And you know, Jordan, you said that a good thing doesn't end. But actually, finality is crucial to anything being quality. Uh, prime example is, I mean, you look at soap operas. They just go on forever and ever and ever. And after a while, it's kind of asinine what's happening. It's like they were in a coma and then hypnotized and all this other crazy BS. And it's because it drags on too long. To have a point, it must have an end. It means more when it's going to end, when it's going to come to a conclusion. So actually, Star Wars dragging on forever is kind of hurting it, honestly. Um, the new one, I see in it. I'm not the biggest fan, but I didn't hate it. It was a step up from the the second trilogy, I suppose, is the best way to put it. Now, there's a new trilogy. But it was essentially just the first movie sort of redone. I mean, there was a there was a Death Star all over again. A Death Star, which I might add, was not phenomenally more dangerous than any of the previous ones. It ate a star. But, and then one's, more but this one's bigger, though. It's so much <laughs> exactly. bigger. In essence, it ate a star and then blew up a few things. Uh, not especially impressive compared to anything else. I mean, the exception was that its power source was larger. Not very terrifying, really. And, you know, I think about the Star Wars series is you have to recognize that they are fairly stereotypical. Uh, there's nothing especially different about them. I mean, you have this boy from nowhere, like half of every story. It's always some kid from nowhere who turns out to be super special. Now, does that necessarily make it bad? Like I said, I enjoy it, but it is pretty stereotypical to have that. Now, one thing I will say, though, in defense of the movie is, Robert, you said that he was the chosen one. The reality is they said that Vader would be the one to stabilize the Force, and ultimately in the sixth movie, he's actually the one who killed the Emperor because Luke lost the fight. Then Vader decides to fight for light and throws him down a shaft and he dies, which in essence he did fulfill the fate they said he would, just not the way everyone thought he would. Now, the thing about it is you said it was also unrealistic, but I mean, come on, this is a sci-fi movie. You're going to see that. There was never any point where they were in a vacuum, and as for the fact that they were on the planets, there are some planets they won't go to because they're uninhabitable. So no, they acknowledge that point. That sort of, you know. But the, the thing about the Star Wars movies is, they generated the standards of modern sci-fi. Prior to them, there was so many cheesy movies. I mean, like, all the really bad ones were the UFOs are circular and the aliens are little green men. That was standard. It wasn't until Star Wars that rolled around that you sort of just started to see all this change. Lucas didn't just rehash everything. He decided to go about it in a very different way, from the sounds to everything else. I mean, the sounds is essentially just them hitting cable wire from a telephone pole. He could have done this with every other laser effect that they had in the past, but he decided to make it different. And so there's a lot more creative input into it that gave it its richness. And that's sort of where the fan base comes from. Now, jumping subjects over to... Okay, okay, real, well, well, real quick, if you allow me to respond to that, because I, I just got to ask what, what's happening here is... <coughs> to me, when something really can capture the imagination, it's that it's timeless. So I hear you giving a lot of respect for something that was great at its particular time. And it, and, and it did create innovations. So, yeah, I, I guess I could respect that. I don't care, though. <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> care. It doesn't make me like it anymore. It just, I, I guess in some aspects, I respect it. But if you want to talk about, you know, innovations in, in, in that aspect of the technology and things like that, the acting is horrible, horrible acting. 
Hey, no, you're, no, your hero, your hero is is the worst acting job I've ever seen in a major film. They had George, they had Harrison Ford. Part of you have to remember is these were some pretty early films. Well, whole Ford had been around for a while, but Mark Hamill really hadn't done too much, especially large things. If anything, I can't say I know that for a hundred percent, but he, he wasn't exactly a major actor at the time. A lot of them weren't. It was really only Ford who was the biggest one, and most notably, he's only the only one who didn't really who made it out of there with his career to do other movies other than to always be Luke or the Joker, because getting out of there with two roles isn't exactly success. That said, Mark Hamill is pretty awesome as let me, Joker. Let me let me jump in here. For as the Joker, he killed it. Yeah, that's later in life. So, <laughs> George Lucas, this was like his first early thing, and I watched him behind the things where he was friends with Steven <laughs> Spielberg, and he would go like sit in on Steven's films and stuff like that. George Lucas designed an entire world. He's basically a, a Tolkien. I mean, he he invented an entire world. Every character was so thought out and its own unique design just like you're saying all the all the early flying saucers and everything were just circular it was like war of the worlds it was it was all that 50s bullshit but he actually <laughs> took and made it cool he made fucking the millennium falcon and made some badass roles and he made um han solo's character especially like a- any man can go and be like oh yeah he made it cool he may not just with, like pop culture he didn't just bring sci-fi um, you know, to to life, it's just pop culture. But he actually like, uh, not just saw on the surface. What I'm trying to say, and like in depth, he went through every category. And maybe the acting isn't as best as it could be, but they still got their point across. The, all the characters are so awesome. He invented it in its own language. Different characters have their own language. There's several several Earths in this galaxy. Talk to uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. There's several okay. Earths in this galaxy. And that we don't know about. Yeah, I'm talking about when they're in the open spacecraft. <laughs> Can you talk right now? Are you wearing a helmet right now? Uh, I'm, Are you I'm, wearing a fucking I have, helmet? There's an atmosphere. They were in an open spacecraft yeah. in space. And they just took off their helmets. Their helmets didn't even seal. Like, it was, like, open. Like, the, you see their neck and stuff. It, I Come on. You're telling me a green slug speaks English. He didn't speak English. The green slug. He didn't. <laughs> Well, Harrison Jabba Ford could understand it. Spec- yeah, but fucking- it was it was a clear language with a dialect and everything. I mean, it's not like he was muttering gibberish. There was repetition to what he said, which would suggest an actual language. There are two this big- means that the two biggest- this means that it's ahead, quite possible to it's quite possible to learn a language that can repeat. You know, it's got a pattern. It's not unlike English. We can learn other languages. Several Likewise, why can't we? Especially like in so. Han's case where he's dealing consistently with the the huts. You know, it, it will probably be practical to learn hut language. Look, the homework we'll be, put be into there. Star Wars was so in-depth and so meticulously thought and planned and the technology was never before seen and it's outrageous and it is appropriately rated for those first three films where as... Forrest Gump Timeless. completely ripped off actual Timeless. history and Timeless. super glued his <laughs> fucking mouth into it's the worst. If you want to talk about horrible acting, look at all those old. Oh, people don't you talk about the goat that, that way? That they're talking and their lips are like. It's basically a Japanese oh karate gosh, film. Are you kidding me? When they're it was, trying to talk it was to perfect. Forrest Gump it and the president perfectly overdubbed. and John Lennon and all those people, the superimposed. They're, they're like, so, uh, they like right. cut out I a can't. photo and uh, have uh, Here's the thing, Mr. Mr. Voice of Reason, is that, that <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to get mad at Jordan because, please explain to me. But I'm going to close off real quick, actually, before I move on with, with Star Wars. I hear two things. One movie didn't have an ending. That was the second one, which is episode five. First of all, that's, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Um, it didn't have an ending. And secondly, you're telling me that they told you the ending at the beginning of the movie and you still had to watch it. It's like, all right, well, he's going to actually, uh, he's going to, he's going to save everything. Oh, cool. I don't need to watch the movie, but yet you guys still fell for it. Oh, this was actually something prophesied during the second. And they said that Vader was supposed to return balance to the force when he became Vader and then everything just sort of went out of whack. The reality is the th- going into the third, well, I should say going from the fifth to the sixth, that gets annoying. Um, going from the fifth to the sixth, 
that's when we're under the impression that Vader isn't going to fulfill the destiny he was said to do of restoring balance of the Force, and then ultimately he does. So the reality is they don't tell us, they just tell us the prophecy he was supposed to have fulfilled. We're under the impression he won't. After all, he is the Dark Lord. Or, oh, um, but anyway, like see, the point is he's, he's essentially yeah. the most dangerous one. Now, Jordan, one other thing to your favor. The thing is, and this is one of the best reasons why number five can always be so loved, is Luke, I am your father. That has become, it's not just the line itself, it's the whole idea of that particular trick. You see it all the time now. It's like, oh, it turns out you were related to the villain all along. Video games, movies, everywhere. Well, guess what? First one to pull that very shocking thing was Star Wars. However, one thing I have always thought about Star Wars, speaking objectively, is that this wasn't very well implemented. This was very misleadingly put in the fourth movie when he says that he destroyed him. That easily suggests that he killed him. And then so all of a sudden, no, it turns out he is your father. And he does say, I admit, on, on uh, oh dear, I forget the planet, uh, where Yoda, when he's training with Yoda, he does see the spirit of Obi-Wan who acknowledges that he did, in essence, destroy him. But that's just sort of it. You see, that wording, it's almost as though... In hindsight, Lucas looked at it and went, oh, crap, I could have a way better twist if it turns out he's his dad, but I already said he destroyed him. Well, maybe I didn't literally mean destroy him. That Thank could you. have been worded a million times better if he Thank said, you. then the dark, then Darth Vader came to rise and your father was no more. That would still suggest death, and, 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 and then they can – but at the same time, that wording does suggest that his father is no more. It could have been done so much better. But the way they worded it, it more like seems like they backed themselves in the corner, or rather Lucas did then realized he had to kind of flip things around to fit it in. And that then, said, and, and it still was a good twist. I, yeah, I guess. Many people, in, many people in the audience So were where do you fall away. on Forrest and, Gump, and, and, and how is, and first, how first, is that overrated? I'm ready to move on. First, firstly, okay, first, or lastly, <laughs> that's not even the line. The line, actually, he says, no, I am your father. He never said, Luke, I am your father. So, first of all, people can't even remember the quotes from Star Wars. <laughs> but you do you do know, you do know, run, Forrest, run. You sure know that, don't you? And, it's three uh, words. And so, uh, it just, it just sounds, same. it sounds crazy to me, man. I, I just, I can't do it. I can't do it. Because and, your and brain doesn't gather information point, and like, you can't understand okay, it. The last you just don't understand. That's why you can't like make, Game of Thrones. Before, because this will be a segue, is that it took Forrest Gump an hour and a half to tell this magnificent story where George Lucas ain't even done yet. I'm, I've Bro, been that's over just, it. Here's what it is. It's it, this motherfucker needs How a laugh track you? to How enjoy his show. You he needs someone years telling to tell him story to the punchline, everything. Come like, on, a you cartoon? You can't handle it. Uh, spin-offs? You can't handle it. You need it. all that to tell the story. All I needed was one gum. No, dude, you can't handle it. Your turn. <laughs> you Your need turn, a voice laugh reason. track to watch a television okay. show. Okay, moving on to gum. So now you can be a little happier, uh, Jordan. All right, now the thing about gum is I, I've seen you have a lot of issues with the, the whole humor of it all, but you have to consider that it has humor through absurdity. I mean – the way he calls in Watergate. Obviously, this random guy named Forrest Gump didn't call in Watergate, but that's the suggestion that he has been subtly involved in and in some way manipulating the events of history. I mean, the whole shit happens phrase, that he's the one who came up with that. That the smiley face, which actually isn't necessarily Walmart's right, it's uh, owned by Fun Times or something. That was a it's, co thing. It, it's copyrighted. But it's not Walmart. Walmart was just using it. I think that's why they stopped using it because they didn't want to pay anymore. In any event, and then the, the fact that he outran the car, all these things are there. It's a, bit, it's a bit of humor. You have to take it lightly. And it's done so through it this absurd a, scenario. A movie? I mean, I, I did. I said absurd, you know, which means it's it's just so ridiculous. I mean, he got shot in the ass and then he keeps running. He does this with like six guys. I don't care how superhuman you are, that you're, you're probably going to go down for that. Likewise, I mean, he does all these incredible things that are, I mean, let's face it, that's probably not going to work. Plus, he's influencing history in all these ways you would think that they would remember. I mean, he mooned the president. You, you, you'd probably remember that. But it's, I mean, you have to take this with a grain of salt. This is still a fictional story. It's set in a realistic setting. But at the same time, this man didn't exist. We would remember him. 
especially someone who has such a profound impact on history. Now, the thing is, you point Why out that it doesn't really have too much to it. Case. He just <laughs> won it for me. No, we didn't. You see, see, and that's why I say you're like, really that, that to perceive was, information is you're wrong saying because Star Wars is so ridiculous and all that shit, and he's really that literally was, saying it's ridiculous as fuck. That was actually a defensive point for Robert. I'm about to go, I suppose, to help you out on this one. Now, the thing is, that in mind, you do have to consider that he's right. You know, there, when it comes to Gump, there are the diehards who love it. They're people who they're not really there. I mean, there's there's no group around it. There's no gathering around it. Jordan's right. There's no diehard community. You could go out and you find a ton of Star Wars fans, but you're not gonna find a ton of Gump fans. That's it's not a thing. You know, you don't go to Halloween. I mean, maybe your friend there is, but that's that's a pretty huge minority there compared well, to Star Wars. That Star- actually wins no. my that that wins my argument because we're talking most <laughs> overrated. By that token, you're telling me that it's underrated, that not enough of people, not enough people appreciate how great it is of a film. I think it is that the fan base isn't quite as rabid or devoted. Right, I love I'm the movie, right. but I'm not about to run around wearing a costume of it. I mean, and I mean, the thing TG is, and I, we we tailgated when Bridge of Spies opened because Tom the the Goat Hanks was there. We do really have a certain attachment to that sort of Americana is the other thing. And that is, I mean, put in any other setting, let's say 80s to 90s, it's not really going to be quite as impactful. Part of it was that, the, yeah, the 60s, 70s, 50s, these, these were turbulent times where there was a lot of stuff happening. But at the same time, it, it really has to do with the Americana. And the reality is I don't think it is necessarily that we love it but rather that they were very memorable times. And Gump really had to piggyback on the era because without it, there wouldn't have been nearly as many relevant events to quite slip him into. Yeah. I mean, it was a crazy time, and I think that was the whole point is that things were changing, and there was the, – the point was that there was such momentous things happening, but again, those little tiny, tiny subtleties of what happened – that could have, you know, been the ripple in a pond that turned into a giant wave, you know, and that was yeah. kind of that was sort of the point of uh, of of what why they would probably have chosen to use that era. So if you, if you're so you're saying kind of what I was saying is, and I really yeah, and I do, and I do agree. And the reality is, it's not just that it's, that it's not just because we love Americana; it's because they needed to use that era. The reality right. is, none of them are quite as eventful as if that. If they would have used any other era. We wouldn't, wouldn't even be talking about Forrest Gump. It wouldn't be oh, yeah. nearly successful. Exactly. exactly. And that plays heavily into the whole thing. And it is true. It really is kind of a miniature history lesson because you just swing from one major event to the other where conveniently this guy is somehow involved. I mean, between meeting John Lennon, who would then a few weeks later die, between meeting with Lyndon B. Johnson, seeing Watergate, being at the protests for having the the African Americans admitted to the colleges, things like that, you know, suddenly he's swinging from point to point, and it, 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 there is there's a lot of suspension of belief involved in that movie. Of course, but it's, it it's tongue, it's, tongue in cheek in a way. It, yes, very much so. But that's sort of the problem for a movie that bills itself as set in something more realistic. It's, tr- it's that's why well, it's charming that's why, though. That's. Yeah. That I think that's you're, my you're, confusion. You're I don't even, know if it's a comedy or a drama. You're actually or drama. making my point in a way <laughs> is that I, I like, for example, I read the uh, or I watched the, the, the bonus features on, uh, on, you know, on the DVD and stuff. And he was talking about the script when he got it. Right. And he said, this completely goes against every like possible story narrative and script it makes no sense i love it you know what i mean like it's not a standard front to back good guy bad guy we win and we learn a lesson every no it was really weird it was not like a basic bitch script like it was so unique it was unique i still haven't seen another movie like okay tarantino did things backwards or would skip over to different people's perspective that's cool but this kind of had its own thing and the lead character although there have been you know other movies in that era specifically where the character was you know down syndrome or or slow or whatever for the main character to not be 
the machismo hero or the destined chosen one that just happened to be that guy. He was a he was slow. He's not supposed to be that main character, yet he's still charming and lovable. You know, those are the things to me that that grab me in a different way too. That where it's like, wow, this is, this is just different. It gives me a vibe, you know. Yeah, and you know, I mean, part of it is that the reason why I can't quite back you on this, Jordan, is that I'm afraid that I'm actually inclined to agree with Robert. Going oh. to my conclusion. The reality is that Star that. Wars has <laughs> Star Wars has such a massive fandom, like rapidly, you. dangerously Wait, so, that only in its size can you perfectly demonstrate the idea of overrated, which is ha- having a high, a an highly undeserving opinion. So everyone thinks so highly of it, but it's not necessarily worthy of that. Now, that's not to suggest it's not a good movie. I enjoy them very much, but. It's not emotionally impactful, except for maybe five. It's really cool. I mean, you can't just say, oh, it looks so cheesy. Oh, come on. They didn't have a lot to work with. Cut them some slack. And that's always what I've done. So they were trying to be innovative. I mean, Jabba may not have looked the best, but damn, considering what they had, he's pretty damn good. So putting that all aside, FX, great. Style, innovation, lots of good points. But their story is just not as meaningful. Outside of five... I mean, you have a bunch of teddy bears defeating the Empire. That's upsetting. But they have I mean, you think that they're trained rockets. for it. I mean, what point is a helmet if a rock's going to take you out, really, now? I mean, you think those helmets amplify the damage you take. I was always those disappointed as a fan of the... As a fan of the Empire, like, I always thought it would be cool to be a, st- a, dest- a stormtrooper. I'm very disappointed. It's like the armor gets you hurt more than it does help you. Because apparently a rock's gonna take me out. I mean, it's not even as good a as a heart. Teddy pack. bear threw a rock and it killed a dude sure, with I'm armor. Okay. And, okay. Or so potentially yeah, knocked him out. I but think it by done. def by definition, as you said, um, it's it, it, it is overrated in that way. I remember Fire, watching dude. back Big Bang Theory. They said that they're like, guys, relax. It's just a movie, you know. And that's kind of how I feel sometimes with it. Like it's like, dude, I don't even. I I truly don't even get it. But your right. problem is that you don't even really seem to care for it all that much. There's a lot to love. I mean, it's like Jordan said, the richness of the world is immeasurable. I'll, but give, it, I'll give it that. But to story your, depth is not your defense. Like you don't like movies with singing. I, I <laughs> hate ridiculous things where I truly have to believe that a, a teddy bear throwing a rock is going to kill an armored guy with a laser gun. A laser gun in general. But you can you leave, what what believe I mean? an eight-year-old boy. Fair point, but allow me to counter that. I, enjoy I believe tangles. that miracles happen every day. Well, I enjoy a bear can take out a And there was a thing. lot of singing in there. All the same, I do have to acknowledge that it's really funny. I can look past that. Can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get to the next one because we're, we're we're starting we're starting to really get into this, but uh, like uh, we got to get to some of these fans. Thanks again, Mister Voice of Reason. You disappointed me there. Uh, uh, he's he's actually uh, there was a fan that wanted to get in with Jordan, and so we're we're gonna talk to him real quick. All right, we'll see ya. Peace. All right, call my Voice of Reason. Oh man, okay. You don't get a sorry talk. guys if you're if you're still there. Um, yeah, this is this is getting uh this is getting brutal. Uh this is getting real brutal. I I'm, I'm probably an insane person, but I, I love these arguments. I think they're so stupid that they're awesome. Uh we're going to we're going to get Jordan's guy. We're going to try to get a little quicker, but you know, it is it's we're dealing with some crazy fanatical stuff. Is Sim right here? All right. I hope that's right. <laughs> that's pretty funny. If we got a wrong number, that'd actually be pretty great. Uh, who's so, this? You, what do you think? <laughs> What's so, more over it? Star Wars or Gump? Yo. This is Jim. Hey, Jim. I, you you mean voice of reason, too? Oh, this is your voice of this reason. my voice What's reason. up, Jim? This, he's, he's called you the voice of reason, oh. too. What's up, Rob? So, Why is this so awesome online? Oh, uh, you got it. You got to uh, mute the show. You got to yeah, turn it down show. a little bit. It's just uh... I got it into headphones. Cool. All right. So check this out, man. You sounds like you've been watching the show. OK, so do you know where we're at little, or do we? Bit, I... So long story short, uh, Forrest Gump's obviously way more overrated 
than um, Star Wars, and I just need you to tell tell all the good people here as to why why that's correct. So we're trying to say which one's more overrated. No, I'm I'm actually just asking you which you think. My obviously it's an easy no brainer that the Force comes more overrated, but you're but that's what it is. It, what's more overrated, Star Wars or Forrest Gump? What what are we basing the the rating on? Are we votes, awards? Income? What are we basing this on? Good question. I mean, well, just, that 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 we kind of established that through a couple different calls and stuff, and and, and uh, between ourselves, we've we've suggested that pretty much we'll quantify something as overrated is 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 a, the size of fandom and the intensity by which that phantom, the rabid type fan base, you know, that cult like thing, you know, or awards or sales figures, all those things to take into account. Versus how quality of a film it is in general, you know. So, by my standard, Star Wars is the biggest billion trillion dollar fan franchise ever. So, it's not that good. So to me, that means it's overrated. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Um, I would say that. I'm not conscious. Uh, I would say that there's a couple different things to look at there, and there's different ways of verifying what you could consider overrated and not overrated. I think Forrest Gump had some incredible acting and performances and did some very interesting CG work with Lieutenant Dan and making him into an amputee. I think the world building. You didn't even Star Wars know that. Incredible. You didn't even know that Gary Sinise had two legs. It's pretty obvious. It's a green right, blanket. Correct. That, that was incredible physicality performance and incredible CG to be able Just to, so you know, in 1994, remove actual... One language. of Jordan's arguments against Forrest Gump was that Lieutenant Dan became an astronaut. I never saw Lieutenant Dan get a no-damn spaceship in he Forrest Gump. He was in the Gump. mission control room at he's the end of the so movie. He's so used that to movies. He, he's so <laughs> used to movies having to have 15 different parts just to tell one simple story that he thinks that Apollo 13 is the same movie as Forrest Gump. What a jerk off. Keep going. At the very end, he's in mission control. Yeah. You don't remember so, your so own movie? Again, Back to that, I think there was some incredible things there. Now, when you go to the other side of the fence and you look at acting in Star Wars, you have a bunch of very convoluted acting. Nobody knew which way to go. George Lucas didn't know what he wanted. He got wishy-washy. So, therefore, it came across in a lot of the parts of the film, and it improved as they went through the original three. Now, of course... In retrospect now, and going back into, the, you know, going forward, in hindsight being 2020, when George Lucas thought he knew what he wanted and got more decisive and had more toys to play with and a lot more CG capabilities and stuff, since it wasn't 1976, 77 anymore, it was into the late 90s and early 2000s, and he did that remastering and re-release of the original three and added in all these scenes and added all the CG bloatware to it, it just really showed that he really, really was fortunate to land on the perspectives and the input and the crew and stuff that was involved in the original one more so than in those because the more you borrow from other sources and real life and positive inputs here and there that you can, the more balanced the end result will become. When you get something limited to just one narrative, there's many more plot holes uh, divisive intake, uh, issues arise, things of that nature. To the point that if you go to the newer film, uh, Force Awakens, look at Han Solo's character. Look how Harrison Ford is portrayed and portrays himself through his acting. If you go back to the mm -hmm. old movies and you look at just world building, what you see in the shot and how it is filmed is very good but there's lots of things and inconsistencies in the backgrounds and stuff that unfortunately they didn't have a good handle on they didn't have a super tight second unit to go back and do follow-up shots and things of that nature to give the editors more to work with on a cutting room floor and they were cutting on raw stock film 
They probably weren't getting that much extra footage in the can during the filming since it was in the 70s and not in the 90s. Film stock is expensive. The first film, of course, would be the lowest of the budget because they didn't know what success it would be. And even after filming the first one, George Lucas and his buddy Steven Spielberg went on vacation because Lucas truly felt he had created a flop even when he was doing what so he even did. the guy who created it thinks it sucks fuck yeah for the win fuck you In i win yes. raise you, the mic you have Ooh. to ask yourself Woo! what that raise means. the mic to the good because lord if above the person that should love what they create doesn't love the creation where does that leave you <laughs> always wanting better for himself <laughs> Every artist is the same way. You always but think you can do it's better. It's too late. It's already out. It already no. sucks. Jim, I'm going to need you to just go ahead and say that uh, Sports Cup is the most overrated of the two. <laughs> Your homie was sent here to help you. You can just call him the voice of treason, dude. It's over. It's over. <laughs> it's over, dude. <laughs> Woo! It's over. It's over, dude. All right. Well, you guys fucking suck. But, Thanks. Um, no, but, like magic uh, again. There was a lot of things I heard Where you were just giving me a bunch of Hipster movie critic Just garbled bullshit Who cares how the hell They filmed it I don't care if they used a freaking Barbie doll spaceship Or if they used a computer Or they used stock film from the 60's I don't care What I want is a movie That engulfs me and tells me something and really captivates me. And what I heard was the guy who made it thinks it sucks. <laughs> okay, so the next part of Woo! that. Would so be, I won. It's operatic. It's space opera. So is that what you value in your narrative storytelling? Is that what you lean towards? Is that what you seek out when you find films that you want to spend your time exposing yourself to? Um, I, I'll be honest with you After I watched The Dark Knight I haven't seen a, a movie since Because there was no point It was perfection It was over So you have foregone the way Of watching cinema In any form Since The Dark Knight Nolan's The Dark Knight Yeah it was that's perfect like kind of, That's like saying The first time you had sex With your wife It was like Wow that was so amazing That I'm just never Going to have sex again <laughs> That is a valid, valid argument, but sex is a little bit different. You see, I had to procreate. Well, mo- films procreate because art imitates art. Yeah, but dude, his favorite character is Jar Jar Binks. Well, yeah. That's I mean, sad. Well, no, it, once, again, once again, that's the problem. When he was left to his own volition and he had more budget and more toys and more you know, a creative tool. Go with your hipster disposal. jerking off it's again. Got, what do you think about Forrest Gump funky. though? Let me, hear, let me hear your take on Forrest Gump. Even Gump Spielberg quick. doesn't get clunky, but here, here's, here's another way to look at it. If you really want to focus on the fact that George Lucas felt that he had a flop, let's look at war of the worlds. When Steven Spielberg decided to take and uh, take a shot at that intellectual property. And he rushed through it saying he just wanted to get done with it. So he could get to a project he cared about. So why would you take on an IP that you have no interest in doing any sort of justice to? So you're just in it for a paycheck? Is that what that means? Or how can you interpret what? Dude, what I didn't even. I do. Come on, man. Like you're even being too mean, dude. It's like he's already unconscious, dude. Like the ref's just jumping in. It's like a freaking MMA fight, and he's on the floor unconscious, and I just keep pounding on him, pounding on him. Dude. But but now it's like his own coaches are jumping in the freaking ring to fucking hit him. <laughs> it's just bad. Look, I, okay. Well, I think if we'll if call we, Joe Rogan because he'll he'll pull Jordan out apparently. Oh, I guess, but. Buffalo and Joe Rogan are tight. Oh, they sure are, but I, I think you know. Basically, I I think to keep it simple, I I, I find that for the basis of the and Jordan kicked my ass last week, by the way. But I think by the basis of of the actual question at hand is what's more overrated. I think that we're all we're all kind of acknowledging. All right, dude, we like Star Wars. It's cool. It's fun. We're kids. We like it. It's cool. But it's not the best movie ever. 
But why do we all love it? It's like someone, everyone agreed to just like this movie. It's kind of weird. It's fun. Actually. It's fun to dress up. So it's maybe fun it's to not overrated. Maybe, maybe it's. it's wait, wait. Go ahead. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So the overratedness of, um, of Forrest Gump would have to be the fact that it's real life. And it's taken to an extreme. You have one person that supposedly had this many real life changing events happen directly to them, in front of them, or being in the right place at the right time. Highly yeah. unlikely to the point of being fictional. Yet well, it's a, it's presented to you as, hey, this is what happened to this person. No, I didn't. So I didn't get that out of it. It's fantasy. Because that is not what would happen to one person. Like, I mean, the the odds of it being that many different things and, and such to one person, highly unlikely. Like, yeah. astronomically. It, it, it is pretty crazy. It's more relatable to day-to-day and not thinking about, oh, in, in the year 3500, this is how it's going to be. We're going to go back to bladed weapons, but instead of bladed steel, it's going to be bladed photon light energy. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, read, read, read. I, I, I say what Not you're saying. Physically. We we got to take some other callers, but just just to end it. Uh, aside from us arguing about this, what do you think for you? You kind of is like you feel really overrated. I think when we say things are overrated, it's because we see that a lot of people like it and we don't get it. I see that a lot of people love Star Wars. I don't get it. Jordan sees that I personally love uh, Forrest Gump, and he's like, I don't get it. It's like it's not that we hate it. It's not that great, is but it's it's just that we don't get how people love it. So for you, what film is that? What what do you see that? Why do so many people like it, or why do p- certain people like it so much? But I just don't get it. Yeah, it's an interesting question. You know, once again, I like the idea of Star Wars, but the execution was sloppy in many of its iterations. Uh, Forrest Gump, the execution was much much better overall but totally different type of director taking on the project, totally different era in which they were created, different things were going on in life and society uh, and things of that nature. And I think that when you're doing something that is your creation and then you're getting a chance to create it in the, you know, from the written page and from your head into a film versus we have this story and we want you to figure out how to present it in a film format in a visual medium is two different things. Mm -hmm. Now you want me to give you my opinion of another intellectual property. What to you you is, what, what to you do you feel is the most overrated? Another film that's overrated to me. Transformers. I would say something like that because that will have everybody go watch it, even though they pretty much at this point, everybody knows there's not going to be much substance to it. There's just going to be a bunch of CG on the screen to look at. And I think that it's sad that we've lost sight of more practical effects that look better and hold up through the test of time. No matter how good CG looks today in 20 years, CG will advance because computers are still advancing. Well, you know what? I, I think what you just what you just said is me and Jordan are having pretty much the same argument as last week. For me, Lion King is Star Wars for him, and and I think that we have we have, we're dealing with things that are borderline children's movies, but have okay. just enough substance to be qualified as great, just in general, transcendent of that. But then you, but then Transformers to me, I don't take that film seriously. It does make a lot of money, but it's to me, it's more of a children's movie. And I think this newest one didn't, it didn't do as well. It was definitely the poorest of the entire franchise. So it would kind of show that people are saying, hey, there's not much substance here. Maybe the kids that went and watched the sequels, now they grew up a little bit and they're over it. So I think it's probably appropriately rated, but. Either way, we're going to take some other callers, man. So Thanks thank for you. fucking me, guys. <laughs> the voice of treason. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it. Have a good yeah. one. Thanks for having Boy. me on, guys. Have a great show. See you, buddy. Wow, that was fun. That was fun. It's it's interesting, though, because it's, it's again, it's Look, hard. Okay, here's here's what I came to conclusion. I'll just kind of go, you're right. Star Wars is more overrated because there's actually people who give a fuck about it 
and nobody gives a shit about your shitty movie. That's basically it, man. You're trying to like, you know, like, okay, yeah, sure, Star Wars is over it. But damn, dude, it's fucking everywhere, man. You know what I mean? So I mean, if people like it, they like it. I guess it's not overrated if they fucking like it, but I don't. Hey, hey, how's it what, going? what's up? Is, <laughs> it, is this uh, is game over, Jesse, or what is what it? What is it? Yeah, game over, Jesse. Game over, Jesse. We got you. So yeah. if you can fix your camera a little bit, unless you yes. don't want to be on camera, then that's fine. I got it here. Sorry, it was uh, I had the wrong camera. There we go. We, we we got him right here. Here we go. Let's end Robert's game here. Game game, game over. over, Jesse's here now for 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 you guys. He also has a Patreon. If you go see uh the my some of my patrons, I don't know if you can, but if you if you can. He's uh he's a gamer on stuff and he's a big Escape the Fate fan but he he also has a, uh what it what is a gamer channel where you kind of do walkthroughs a lot of Zelda right yeah mostly just focusing yeah. on like Nintendo news and stuff like that fuck yeah that's rad so you know because we're we're getting a little over here so we want to try to get to as many people as possible let's get to the point yeah, give us your take what to you let's answer two questions. What's more overrated, Star Wars or Forrest Gump? And to you, what's the most overrated in general? All right, so some of the guests that came on previously kind of went on for a bit, so I'll try to make this a bit quicker. I want to say that I think both movies have a lot of great moments in them, whether it's the full Star Wars series or Forrest Gump by itself. But... With Forrest Gump, I don't necessarily think there's any bad scenes. There's just scenes that you wished wouldn't have happened to him or that you wouldn't have wanted to be in. They're not really bad for the movie because it helps develop the character. Whereas in Star Wars, especially with the prequels, there's a lot of moments to where Anakin is turning from... They said it, the whole prequel trilogy is supposed to be him going from... like. Uh, just a normal everyday child basically to this huge enemy that everyone in the universe is essentially afraid of and in the second movie I believe whenever he does change or maybe it was the third one I forget it's just like you snapped your fingers and he changed it wasn't a progression that built up to this huge climax it was just one day he's good and the next day he walks in the room and kills a bunch of kids <laughs> like there's no real progress that I can see with that. Whereas Forrest Gump, it's all building up for character development with not just him, but everybody else. So I would say that Star Wars is the overrated film because, <laughs> because I feel that if you put the best movie in the Star Wars series up against Forrest Gump, I don't think it would be better than Forrest Gump. So the fact that Forrest Gump just has the one movie that stands by itself and Star Wars, which none of the movies are on par with Forrest Gump, not only does it have the seven movies now, it has a bunch of different animated series, a comic line, a bunch of uh, books, literally everything that you could think of that they could put Star Wars on and sell. It has but is it deserving of that? And I don't think it is. Wow. No, Maybe. Well, here, here's actually what I heard by what you just said. This is, oh man, Jordan prepared so hard for this day. And he's just, this is what I, this is what I just heard. I heard, man, they can't figure out how to tell this fucking story, man. They tried every fucking way. They did prequels. They did sequels. They did four, five, six. And then they fucking, they, they did a cartoon. They got another director. They brought in new CGI. They fucking redid the old CGI. And they still can't tell the damn story. Oh, man. That's what I just heard. Now, you know what? Let's just, let's just fucking make an amusement park out of it. Because <laughs> that... Fuck, man. Kids kids like it, I guess, you know? But you know what? Kids, kids like a lot of stupid shit. Let's just... I mean, come on. <laughs> I'll give you that. Dude, but... It, Woo! Okay. Uh... Fair enough. It's uh, you could pack up a movie to Forrest Gump, and they're not going to even out. But Star Wars does need. It's a universe, man. I mean, you, look, you're trying to uh, the Forrest Gump. You don't need a backstory to know what actually fucking happened in history. It's already happened. You you just know. Oh, oh, that's that's uh, Richard Nixon. That's John Lennon. Like you don't need all that storyline 
to have to explain the entire universe. If you so if we were on another fucking planet and we are watching <laughs> Forrest Gump, we'd be like, "What the hell?" You know, like oh, we don't know any of that because we don't have the prequel of of history. But here we do because you went to school. So it's not really fair, movie to movie. I think uh, my whole thing was I think he's overrated about it. But as we talked, I mean, dude, no, they just don't have any fans. I mean, fuck you. I feel bad for the guys at Forrest Gump. But, <laughs> that's know. what. That's why it can't be overrated. At at best, it's underrated. Do little kids go grow up wanting to be Forrest Gump? Do they want to swing Forrest Gump legs? He's a, he's, like his, he's a football do they want to wear Forrest yeah. Gump legs hero, to school? Or? And he fucking overcame a physical ailment. He's fucking and, and, yeah, oh my super gosh! Uh, and he I, became I, a he didn't have to worry about money anymore. A millionaire. He <laughs> married his dream girl eventually, but he married her. Hell yeah, I want to be Forrest like Gump. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. So with Forrest Gump, I think if you go back in time to the years that that movie is supposed to take place, and you go up to a kid and ask them what they want to be when they grow up, everything that Forrest Gump does is things that you would likely get answers for. They want to be in the army to help protect the country. They want to be a famous football player. They want to meet the president, do all of these different things that Forrest (laughs) Gump did do. Hey, man. I wanted to grow up to be fucking Chewbacca. Before we go to the next one, I I will concede this. I even learned... I'm not saying I don't think it's great, but I will say that um, the scoring on Star Wars absolutely it, it excels beyond uh forrest gump i do like the scoring of forrest you mean gump. john the Will- john the man williams john the man williams the literal yes. man in the music and cinema music man yes absolutely. the best sound that probably look, ever, yeah this is how good this is how good that 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 scoring is is that i an admitted star wars hater when i went to watch the new one and i heard that Intro did it. Oh my! I was I got chills, and I don't even like the movie. And I was like, "Oh shit, here we go!" And then I fell asleep about twenty minutes later, you know. But hey, <laughs> it is what it is. Hey man, thank you. We're gonna go to the next one. I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. Always, on, guys. You're always welcome back whenever we have a freaking nerd debate or, or whatever it is, you know. <laughs> we'll have one about Zelda. Let's do that. Hell yeah, I'm into that. Yeah, we'll talk video games awesome. next time. All right, later, man. All right, see you. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go to our our, uh, our 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 usual resident caller, you know, so we could we could finally close this one off. She's actually uh, there. You already know her. We're talking about Yoali. She may be my biggest fan. There's a competition out there. There's a there's a few, but she's definitely right at the near the top. Yoali, we got you on. She's at the Dead Rabbit Show. Her signal might not be that great, but she's here. We'll make it quick so you can get to the show. Uh, we, we don't see you. Is that all right? Are you there? Do you hear I'm sorry, us? I, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to pause the phone. Oh, man. She's having technical difficulties. For the love of God, can you say something nice about Star Wars, please? I just, I just did. Yes. That's actually <laughs> what I'm saying. Hell yeah. All right. Let's do this, Allie. Oh, man. And Cody's been tearing up the chat, man. He really hates this beat down. He loves Star Wars. There we go. Uh, Co- Cody's on here. He's uh, Cyrus709. I believe that's Cody anyway. Um, he's he's a huge, huge uh, uh, Star Wars guy. So I feel bad for how much he's been just uh, annihilated and obliterated. Um, so anyways, I guess we're not going to get you on video if you're there. Uh what, what what say you? Let's make it quick because we got we got to run through a couple more and then we're out. Well, what I think is that Star Wars as a whole is definitely better than Forrest Gump. Oh my! Don't get me wrong, I do love I, Forrest Gump. I it's better be getting great. you wrong. Ah, uh, but you also you can't judge a Forrest Gump movie by just a few scenes. You can't judge Star Wars by just one movie. Oh, there you go. I need yeah, more than one Forrest movie. Oh lord. But as a whole, Star Wars is better. There you go. You Do you are... think it's overrated? I don't think it's overrated, and the reason for that is because it's a fandom. Just like there's Harry Potter fandoms and 
Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones, the fans, they don't necessarily love just the movies. They love the whole universe of Star Wars created. Exactly. And that's something that Forrest Gump will never have. <sighs> Boom! Exactly what they'll never have. That's what I was doing. Yeah, but you that did it. my argument. Finally. Forrest Gump is underrated. Yeah, that's because what it I've been sucks. Trying to t- it does it suck. Listen. It doesn't suck. I love Forrest Gump. It's an amazing movie. That's right. It sure is. It is. They're both great movies. But, but, but no, listen. What I heard the last guy say, and maybe you didn't hear him because you're at the freaking Dead Rabbit show right now. Shout out yes. to Craig and TJ. What you probably didn't hear is that the guy said you had to have not just one movie, not just two movies, not just three movies, not just four, five six or seven or a spin-off eight or even a fucking cartoon or comics you couldn't even you had to do all that and you still can't tell the whole fucking story they you, they're still gonna story. make another one because they That's haven't been though. able to get the story right forrest gump an hour and a half that's all i needed an hour and a half and i well, i was thoroughly emotionally Completely, I was satisfied in every way. Star Wars, <laughs> you still can't win me over. You got all that? Oh my gosh! Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> That's uh, why, because it's so complex. You, there's so many things that you can say about the Star Wars world that you have so much material to write. And I think Star Wars can go on for a long time and still have great movies if they do them right. Because there's <sighs> So complex. But you're also how so can complex. these movies be great if you're telling me I need so many other movies? That's yeah. just fun, well, man. Star Wars is not a one-hit wonder; it's a saga. Boom! It's a saga. So then, those movies can't be great oh, by its man. own definition. It needs other movies to be great. So therefore, the movies as individuals are not great. I'm firing myself. And Harley, half of Force Gump is not great either. Why? It was perfect. <laughs> half of it? Just half of Force Gump? What? No, because it's its own movie. Yeah, but that's why it's a series, it's a saga, it's a world. One movie is not gonna be able to. Yeah, well, there are there are there are fans who didn't get to live to see what happened, and I'm sorry, Jordan, you're not gonna know how this story ends. You're gonna die <laughs> before you find out what happens. <laughs> that's probably true. Boom. Winter but ain't never enough gonna come of either. Amazing stuff that we may Winter's not never gonna come. The <laughs> force will never freaking come to life or fail, or the dark side will never turn to. You're never gonna see it. I'm sorry. Forrest Gump did marry his girl, and he lived happily ever after. All right, you all eat. We're gonna get to a couple more, and we're gonna end this here. Okay. Let's get into that time. Appreciate it as always. Um, but I'm sorry. Get back so, to the show. <laughs> something happened to your your Patreon account, and I don't know. It, it seems to have gotten revoked. Uh, uh, I wonder what it could have been. I'll I'll check it. Figure <laughs> out what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I kicked you out because you gave Jordan one. At least you got one. Bro. <laughs> All right, later, you Ali. Thank you. All right, man. So uh, I think there was a uh, there. Uh, we were gonna go to this guy right here, but I. I don't know. I don't know. He's been asking me. So we'll go to him, and we'll. Uh, th- this might be the last one because we, we've been rambling forever. Here we go. Oh, man. Hopefully we can get him on video, but he, he doesn't like to be on video. This has been fun, though, dude. Mm-hmm. Having a good time regardless. Got a fucking I bet headache. you are having a good time. <laughs> fucking an asshole. Think about how I felt Idiot. last week, man. But that's success. I should have said that before. It's a saga. Like, you know... You're trying to compare one movie to a trilogy. He said, why does five need to be continued? Because he knew about that discourse. Oh, man. Well, I guess we're not going to get him. That, that's all right. That's all right. Um, we're going to try this this one last guy. He what was, about the was, other dude who's talking like, uh, like you're the damn did- devil? <laughs> they're, they're, they'll, they'll, they'll be on as, as soon as we're, oh we got we got one we got one don't worry he's here he's here he's here and then, and then this this will be it we'll, we'll have to close it after this because it's getting it's getting late babies are getting hungry heretic five you're alive are you ready for this yeah you gotta send that as a video chat though I I, I I thought I did turn on your video Cause it says uh, it says audio call. Well, you can just hit that camera yeah. button. You gotta send that as a video chat. 
You see it? Oh. Give me one sec. Let's see if we can get him. We all want to see you. There we go. Man, look at that beard, dude. Now, for those of you guys who, who may not know him, oh, we get there we go. Now, he has been an Escape to Fate fan since about day fucking one, all right? Uh, he, this guy's the man. So, let's make this short and sweet, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Jordan. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Get no, that shit. No. Get him. Get That's him. That's my shit. Oh, Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you a quick question. Um, You got a awesome, beautiful beard. I shaved my down a little bit. My wife turn turned turn down the show, though, real but, quick. Yeah, I got you. If I, if I gave yeah. you a, a, a shirt with some mud on it, do you think you could rub that on your face and get the happy face out of that shit? Do you think that was like something you could do? You got a yeah, gray-looking so. beard. Do you think that that would happen? I think so. Listen, man. I own the biggest Yorkie on the planet, all right? A Yorkie? You're, yes. What's with the Yorkies here? I, I own the biggest Yorkie on the planet. You're going to tell me that in 100 years, the time of Star Wars is going to be over seven feet tall? Hell yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> he just that's the right planet and the that's right be That's believable, but a guy wiping his face is not believable. Oh. I think we have your answer. So for for you, uh, this is okay. So you like Star Wars? Yeah, I do. Appropriately rated for you. <laughs> um, as far as the original trilogy and the new movie, yeah. Okay. Well, you didn't like Star. You didn't like Jar Jar. Do you got no love for Jar Jar? No, I, I fucking hated Jar Jar. I, I love Jar Jar. Every too. second I saw him, I was hoping he'd get shot or. <laughs> And die Actually, in some you know, horror in this way. I genuinely he... like Jar Jar. I like that first. Movie. That's the only one I like because my dad was a huge racing fan, so it was cool to watch a, a racing movie. It was like space racing. It was the best of those three. So it was kind of cheesy, but Darth it was Maul was cool. Space racing. Darth Maul looked crazy. But had Jar Jar is the reason people hate it. That's weird. That's like the. Reason. I don't. I don't it's hate so the movie. Stupid. It's just. Uh, it's just that Jar Jar kind of made even me, even as a child. It kind of made me feel insulted that. George Lucas thought that that character would pander to kids like me because it just pissed me off as a little kid. And whenever I got a Jar Jar toy, I would smash the shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy because I actually went out and I bought like the special edition like 7-Eleven cups. And oh, no, a huge you didn't. Shot. I still have a, a Sprite can with Jar Jar on it at my parents' house. I still have all this stuff. That's so weird. See, that's the impressionableness of children, you know? <laughs> But yeah. okay, well, you're obviously a Star Wars fan, and that's fine. You know what? It's we're evening out. We're evening out. The first two yeah, were all me. The second two and, were all you. But uh, in my mind, in ahead, my mind, uh, as far as awards go, uh, I would say Forrest Gump is overrated. That movie won so many awards, gets so many attention, so much attention from critics and stuff like that. But a lot of critics and. Uh, um, news organizations will write off Star Wars just because it's a sci-fi movie and they won't give it another thought because they think it's not worthy of awards and stuff like that because their awards are so prestigious, I guess. I mean, you're... Oh, the, the goat, dude. Tom the Man Hanks. He's not the dude. goat, bro. Uh, don't get me wrong. Tom, Tom Hanks is one of the greatest of all time. That's and he right. forever will be. Forever will be. And Forrest Gump is a fantastic movie, but sure is. I think it won too many awards that it didn't deserve that other movies did at that time. <laughs> there were, and, and actually, if, we talked about 1994 when it came out. There was some great fucking movies that came out that year, and there was some yeah. great mu There was a lot that whole time, music, everything. It was it was a this weird year where a lot of amazing uh, art projects happened. But I don't know, man. I I. I feel it's underrated because it doesn't have that same type of fandom, but it did spawn its own uh, restaurant franchise. So I guess that that <laughs> counts for something, you know. And people still take pictures in front of the the bench at these restaurants and things like that. So and and it's still constantly on on AMC, and it's you know it did win a ton of awards. So for me i think it's appropriately rated because it's never mentioned as the number one or two and it should be right up there but 
Whatever. I, don't I guess know. you might be right. You might be right. In the eyes of critics, I don't. That's that's a tough pill to swallow, man. It is. Yeah. So you went and then um, and, but but and then there was that thing I said yesterday about that either Titanic or Gone with the Wind being the most overrated. I've thought about it, and to me, I think the most overrated movie or series of all times has to be Hunger Games. I absolutely do not understand why people like that. I even Completely. read that first book. Completely agree. I, 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 okay, I get why Twilight has this sort of fan base. Like, oh, Bob I don't know. it is oh, what it is. That's just Titanic was good. But no. they actually take Hunger Games, like, seriously. Like, it's, it's, yeah. It did really well. I, I don't know. I, don't I had, a, I had a, a friend who stopped talking to me because <laughs> I told her I didn't want to go see that cheap ass garbage with her. Hey, hey, that I, if you ask me, <laughs> that was probably the best movie you've ever done in your life. <laughs> now, actually, I don't, I don't think Hunger Games is horrible. It's probably kind of like Star Wars to me. It's good. It's, it's, it's fun. The world is kind of cool, but it's just the premise is kind of ridiculous. I can't get into their outfits and the. The ridiculousness of it all—I don't know. It's just—it's just the shock value of kids have to kill each other for the yeah. society to exist, which is kind of—you're like, whoa, these yeah. kids are gonna actually kill them each other, and yeah. But it didn't captivate me in that way. They, it it made it for kids, so it didn't really come off. If they made it probably gritty and made it like you know gnarly. They'd probably be pretty badass. It's a cool, mm-hmm. cool concept if they made it like really fucking dark and shit. But because they made it to like you know PG thirteen and the kids popcorn stuff, and they get what you get, you know. Wow, I never thought about it that way. Actually, the premise necessarily isn't the. It's it's in a it's a weird thing to think about as a premise. I I think you're right, but the execution kind of it made it seem ridiculous to me you know mm-hmm. <laughs> all right man well we're gonna end it here dude i appreciate your call uh for those of you guys that haven't gone in you know you know what to do just get get on that skype subscribe to to the to the youtube um we're gonna be doing uh and what we'll, we'll see you we'll hey, see man. you peace so yeah um so just to end it yeah we, we got some uh you know like it, we're gonna be doing some free stuff because you know, a lot of people obviously they can't get into this stuff with the Patreon, but the more majority of everything I'll be doing will be on the Patreon of the feed. I got tons more videos, so if you've seen some of the little tidbits I, I'm sharing, I, I kind of want to get people to see what the Patreon's all about. But this is awesome. This is building that community, and I did an interview last night with uh, 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 Scotty Riggs, a former WCW tag team champion and ECW wrestler from like the '90s. And he man, he took me down memory lane, and and he we got emotional on it, and I can't wait to share that with you guys. So that's kind of uh, those types of things are like Patreon, but I do want to share some stuff with some fans who are on the fence about it or like they just can't afford it. So we I want to be able to grow the community and include those people. So I'm gonna be doing some free stuff, but the majority will be like Patreon, like this, because it involves people and it's easier for me to organize everything and have, have that kind of thing so it'll be cool man well, so yeah these ones are fun i love getting people involved if you guys got ideas i mean we fight about a lot of different dumb shit yeah. i like keeping it kind of dumb but yeah um yeah send them stuff uh you can catch me buffalo lee at instagram twitter but send him stuff ideas yeah. you know we want this to be your guys' show so i mean that was awesome honestly the best guests we had were you guys, for sure. My fucking asshole, stupid bitch ass <laughs> friends, fuck it suck. And his voice reason, well, he came through for him today. A, l- a little bit. Probably yeah. won't happen all the time. He's pretty logical, and I'm him too. So I. Yeah, and and for those of you that have stuck with us this far, um, I want to do a, a fan mail Friday. So uh, yeah, I've got a few questions. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put them up. So I'll have a a, a mail bag, or maybe it'll be a fan mail Monday. It's just submit questions to me and stuff. Anything, it doesn't matter because I know a lot of fans always want to know little tidbits about you know the band or whatever it is. Uh, you guys can just submit questions. So you hit me, hit me. Oh fuck you! Too late, buddy. Too late. <laughs> but if you guys. You know what? Fuck it. We'll, we'll get him on real quick. I'll just finish up though. But yeah, we, you know, 
submit questions, whatever it may be. You guys can DM me or you can do it on the Patreon, message me on the Patreon, whatever you guys is, is easier for you. And I'll, I'll choose some every week and we'll read them and, and, you know, answer whatever questions, you know, any unrelated topic, doesn't matter. So let's, let's see if we can get this guy on real quick. Last thing to go. I think this will be the tiebreaker though. This will be the tiebreaker. So we'll see if he, if he, oh, it is connecting, but he's on one of those weird droid phones. So, all right. Well, if this doesn't work, then we're going to be out. I don't think it worked. All right. It's over. All right, dude. I'm out. This has been Hey Rob. Uh, fun, nerdy debate. Lastly, for you, any last closing things? Nah, I got to go. My wife's going to divorce me. So, <laughs> mine too. And she probably ate all my dinner. All right, dude. We'll see you guys. Peace. See you, buddy.